Ladies and gentlemen, hooray, hooray, hooray! Step right up! One ticket to be the fun in the game, where the winners win and the losers go to... here with Playtime with Scorch. Hope you like our Halloween episode. We had a ball doing it. Well, it was up for a month, the whole month of October for Halloween. Now we're getting back to what we need to get back to doing, and that's give you episodes 7, 8, and 9. These were filmed before the Halloween episode. We're going to start with episode 7 this week. Next couple weeks we'll give you 8 and 9 is going. So stay tuned for episode 7. We're going to have some more fun. Here we go, it's Playtime with Scorch. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Playtime with Scorch. Yeah. Playtime with Scorch is the game show where winners win and losers get punished. Joining me tonight is our stagehand cuddles and our lovely co-hostess with the most, as always, Mistress Metal. And we've got one of our regular contestants up here tonight. We've got Dylan. How you doing tonight, Dylan? It doesn't matter. Jackass. Tonight, Dylan's going to be playing Honey Buns. You know Honey Buns. We got that damn pop-up game. He's going to have to get all the pieces of the pop-up game and turn it off and answer five trivia questions before Mistress Metal releases the warm water and honey via enema bag to his nether regions. So when I say go, are you looking at those pieces and what order they're in, jackass? <laughs> when I say go, Mr. Smettle's going to turn on your timer and I'm going to start asking you questions. Mr. Smettle, what is Dylan playing for tonight? It's a music prize pack of a t-shirt and five CDs from blackmagicproductions.com. For those of you on Twitter, you can find them at at Vegas underscore P-A-N. They specialize in live music, DJ, sound support, and booking bands. Yeah! All right. Mr. Smell, it's been, it's been a while since I've seen you. I understand you're just back from Sturgis? Yeah. I'm actually trying to give him a little bit of time to look at the pieces again because I felt bad for doing that. But he, he's not using it. How was Sturgis? It was fun. Was Sturgis was fun? You think it's going to be as fun as this? Oh, no, this is way better. Do you, do you think he's actually going to win? Okay, not a snowball's chance in hell. Mr. Smittle, you ready to start the timer on the count of three? One, two, one, two, three! Dylan, the 1997 phenomenon, Pale Bop, was a type of what? Comet! The Louise Woodward affair was tried in which country? You don't know. Which John traveled in space over 35 years for his first flight? We don't know. Which Jane Fonda starred in Clint and 9 to 5? Jane Fonda. How is Anne Margaret Olsen better known? You don't know. You know, you have to get five questions right, also, or else you lose. He's going to lose anyway. The 90s now who played G.I. Jane? You don't know. In which decade of the 20th century was Kevin Costner born? You don't know. What type of cargo was carried by the stricken vessel, the Tory Canyon? You don't know. What was Aretha Franklin's number one? Oh, we got a loser. Mr. Smith will go ahead. You got five questions wrong. You had to answer five right. You, you actually kind of enjoy that a little bit better, don't you? You know? I don't know. Let's just go. You know, you know, let's, let's go ahead and give him the booty prize. You want to go ahead and 
help him out one time there with a, with a little distraction you were doing. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back with some more Playtime with Scorch. seconds to knock over all the pins in the studio, including those down there and those over there, using nothing but your balls that we provided you. Mistress Metal, what is Chris playing for? A $50 gift certificate to use at the pain clinic, located at 5445 West Sahara, which is good for chiropractic medicine, acupuncture, and massage. Yeah! $50 worth of massage? It's your second day in Vegas, you said? I tell you what, you better swing those balls because you got 45 seconds on my go. On your mark, get set, go! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. You got 30 seconds left. because you don't get punished for that, for winning. Do you know what the punishment would have been if you would have failed? No, I do not. Oh, Cuddles, you would have gotten paintballs directly to the balls. Oh. God, that's twice that they won. Next time we play uh, Wrecking Balls, we're cutting it to 30 seconds. And I'm putting cement in the pins. <laughs> have a seat. We'll be right back with our special guest, Mike Rayburn, in just one moment. Ladies and gentlemen, our special guest, Mike Raber. Take away, Mike. for about an hour. I don't know if that's good or bad. Looks like this.
her eyes and said, go ahead, take off some more. I slipped off her shoes, unzipped her dress, loosened her bra, I felt its sweet caress. Like a buzzkill that keeps ringing in my ears. She said those words every man hates to hear. As I look back at a little black line on her pantyhose, she said, Quit wearing my clothes. <laughs> But I refuse to call you Helen anymore. She said, you need some help of the professional kind. I said, come on, Frank, your problem's no different than mine. And she's got a barley jacket, struck a mask in the clothes. I said, quit wearing my clothes. I sit around with music and just say, what if, what if this, what if that? And I use that question to write a Christmas song for my friend Philippe upon hearing the results of his uh, paternity test. Where's this going? Philippe's not a dad. Philippe's not a dad. It's just a joke. It's just a joke. Now, the other thing, I would get, uh, I grew up playing blues rock more than anything. After college, I moved to Nashville, Tennessee, and the requests changed. And uh, it became country music, and I didn't really, I didn't know anything country, so I just thought, well, what if I could? You know, people were yelling for it, they were requesting it. What if I could? And I got this wild idea, I just, because I, I didn't know anything country. <laughs> to get through the night, I took the songs I do know and played them country. It's a whole new genre. The first, came, the first one that came out was uh, Tom Petty. I get all these requests yelled at the same time, and I couldn't fit them all in 
you know, in the cutoff time. So I just thought, well, what if I could? And this wild idea hit me. I would put them together. It was, this was long before mashups. I would hear, I would do an imitation of that artist singing. That one's hit song, knock off two songs, one shot. We'll do a few. This is uh, uh, Bob Marley uh, sings One Direction. <laughs> How's that sound? <laughs> oh, this is good. Oh shit, I forgot the song. How's that? <laughs> let me do it. Okay, let me do it. I'll just we'll switch it up. Bob, Mar Bob Marley does Garth Brooks. I got good friends in low places. Where we skin drowns and bitches is my blues away. We jog on. Oh, you remember this song? cheerleader girlfriend and it's a play between the two girls. So my daughter Seneca and I asked, what if, what if, we have this wild idea, what if we rewrite this song from the male perspective? Some by representing a segment of male society in high school, which I feel has been grossly underrepresented thus far in the right. time. Right. You're on the phone with your boyfriend, he's upset, he's going off about the homework he doesn't get, he'll never 
No mathematics like I do. <laughs> I'm at the library studying for a test. He's been out hitting mailboxes with a bat. He'll never know quantum physics like I do. <laughs> but he wears muscle shirts, I wear bow ties. He's good looking and I forgot to zip my fly. Dreaming of the day that you wake up and find it. But you really want is this a your mind if you could see that I'm the best in Nintendo Paul Monitor then why can't you see you need a nerd like me you need a nerd like me <laughs> walking with you through the halls of the science museum talking all about the Pythagorean theorem looking at my comic books they to myself, I bet she likes Star Trek, and you got a brain that would make Albert Einstein proud. Use words that your boyfriend can't pronounce. The only thing you have in common with him is that you're both way into him. Cause he plays football, I'm in the chess club. He's team captain, and I collect rare bugs. I've only got brains. He's got the brawn, but in ten years he'll be mowing my lawn. Opportunity to play at uh, uh, Carnegie Hall uh, a number of times, and I, this last time I recorded a live Carnegie Hall CD, which is cool. And I, Carnegie Hall, man, I thought you know you had to study Bach for 40 years. Who knew you could get there by playing Black Betty for drunk people? Uh, <laughs> but you can. Van Lam. Um, nobody got that show. It's okay. And uh, so, this, so anyway, I wanted to sort of push the limits on what they were expecting at Carnegie. So this is a this is one. It's just a little ditty, but it's not. Exactly, the Carnegie material. She called on her new cell phone from somewhere at the mall. I could hear her girlfriend's laugh at her side. She said that she was next in line there at the tattoo stall. And she just called to ask if I would mind. And I said, Mama, you're too old for a tattoo. <laughs> While you're under my roof, you'll do what I say to do. <laughs> so come on from the mall, cause I don't care if all your buddies from the senior center want one too. Mom, you're too old for a tattoo. They won't show you're still vivacious here in your later life. But mom, I just don't think a thong's the thing. <laughs> Oh, go ahead, get that picture out of your head. <laughs> you were seven times a mother and 40 years a wife. You look creepy in a belly button ring. <laughs> Mama, you're too old for a tattoo. While you're under my roof, you'll do what I say to do. When you're almost 73, you should be watching Jeopardy and not hitting on that kid of 62. Mom, you're too old for a tattoo. Now this one's kind of crazy. I've got a little feedback, so I'm going to put back up here and see um, yeah, that kind of cover. I heard a song a long time ago, and I thought someday I want to play that on the guitar. And the only thing I did toward that door, when I was, I, I learned to play the guitar, but about five, six years ago, I dug into it. To this day, it's the hardest thing I've ever played on the guitar. Uh, I've spent over 2,000 hours on just this piece of music, and uh, uh, I, my family will tell you, they are tired of it. And uh, it, 
it's a, a study, I, I have a great class with Mozart, studying great composers, Bach, Beethoven, Mozart, uh, great Spanish composers. This is by one of the all-time great British composers, a guy by the name of Freddie Mercury. <laughs> and I meant to say that in that life. Uh, yeah, that's the group Queen. And the piece is called Bohemian Rhapsody. And, okay, so you know, it's, it's got this opera of voices. It's got this full rock band, and it's got this flowing piano part that goes alternately from classical to pop. And the challenge was to incorporate them all in one instrument, so it took a long time. But uh, it's on, I've got this new CD, it's called The Nerd Like Me. It's got that song, it's got a bunch of other current parodies, some older parodies, and it's got this piece. So, it has been my pleasure to play for you. Scorch, you're the best. Thank you. You're the best. Right.
things like this. Like, oh, they're incredible. Hey, where can we see you? As soon as possible, I know we can see you at a bird, but where else are you going to be? September 6th, I'll be at 715 Fremont Street. There's a little uh, sort of a theater there, 715 Fremont Street. That's downtown Vegas. Uh, September 6th, it's like 445 in the afternoon or something like that. If you go to my website, MikeRayburn.com, uh, I'll put details up there. Awesome. Mike has CDs available right now. I strongly suggest the Carnegie Hall CD. It's my personal favorite. I do have all of his CDs. I can say that now because he gave me the latest one tonight. If you would like to see Mike, talk with him real quick. Uh, you can do so during a break. We'll be right back with more Playtime with Scorch. Mike, thank you very much. Welcome back to Playtime with Scorch. Yeah! So I'm going to steal one of Mike Rayburn's lines. After something classy like that, we're going to go ahead and mess it up by doing something trashy like this. This is Smack My Bitch Up. Mistress Metal, what are our teams playing for? Dinner at Hooters with beers and to go see a Kevin Lapine Hypnosis Unleashed show with Scorch. So the winning team gets to go to Hooters for dinner with me and see Kevin Lapine's Hypnosis Unleashed. That's not a bad prize. Wow, too bad. One of the losing teams is going to get the shit smacked out of them. This is Smack My Bitch Up, so what we're going to do is we're going to have our first two contestants go ahead and step on up here. Mr. Smelly, you might want to get out of the way. Okay, once again, they've been explaining the rules on slapping. They do know that if they hit the ears or they block, they get punished by uh, kettles here. So Stacia and Greg, come on up. Stacia's team gets to answer questions first. Stacia, are you ready for your question? Which Michelle starred in Batman Returns? Pfeiffer. Oh, that is correct. Oh. Greg, which American actor refuses Oscar awarded for The Godfather? Leonardo da Vinci. No, I'm sorry, it's Marlon Brando. Stacia, smack your bitch up. Oh, okay, get back in line. Jill Storm, come on up. Storm. Warren Beatty was born in which decade of the t of the 20th century? Can you repeat that? Warren Beatty was born in which decade of the 20th century? 60s. Oh, I'm sorry. He's born in the 30s. Jill, smack your bitch up. Oh, Jill. Which group backed Buddy Holly? Oh, I know this. I know this. Crickets. That is correct. The teams are now one to one. Come on up here, Sprinkles. Sprinkles. Who had a 70s number one with You've Got a Friend? Oh, shit. Uh, that'd be James Taylor. Smack your bitch up. Oh, that was sweet. Oh, wow. Are you going to let her get away with that? In which country was Pablo, B Pablo Picasso born? Italy? No, I'm sorry. That's Spain. Smack your bitch up. State of Ohio. <laughs> Windsor. No, I'm sorry, it's Columbus Station. Smack your bitch up. I'm from Ohio, by the way. <laughs> oh! Station. <laughs> Peninsula International Airport is in which U.S. state? Pennsylvania. No, it's California. Greg, smack your bitch up. <laughs> Stacia's team is still winning, two to one. Jill, you love this game, don't you? I don't want to get slapped in. <laughs> Robert Menzies was Prime Minister of which country? UK? No, I'm sorry, Australia. Storm, smack your bitch up. Okay, it's okay. Grace. Oh, that was close to an ear. You know, you got to watch out. Storm. David Solberg became a famous actor-singer under which name? 
know. <laughs> David Soul, Jill, smack your bitch up. Back in line. Stacia's team is still winning two to one. Here's our chance to tie it up, or else, uh oh. <laughs> what did Tony Bennett leave in San Francisco? His heart. Oh, that is correct. It is now tied two to two. Sprinkles. Oh, whoa. Did anybody say you get smacked, bitch up? He didn't get a question wrong. Um, cuddles? Cuddles, we've got a punishment here. We've got a smack out of time. Uh, she's a lady. Don't let that hold you back, Annie. Okay, now it's, now it's uh, Sprinkles' turn to ask a question. You can slap him if he gets it wrong, okay? That had to hurt. In the 90s, who had a number one hit with Always Be My Baby? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you can smoke him. This time for real. Oh no, it's other cheek. Other cheek. Other cheek. Yeah. 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 Alright. We are tied two to two, which means Stacia, Greg, come back up here. This is the tiebreaker. We're going into sudden death. If you get a question right, he's got a chance to get one right. Okay? If you get a question right and he gets it wrong, you're automatically the winning team and vice versa. Stacia, your question. What is the capital of the state of Connecticut? Fuck, I don't know, I don't know. Hartford. Go ahead and smack your bitch up, Greg. Oh. <laughs> Get him, Greg. Whoa! Greg! <laughs> what was George's... What was George's that left a trail of destruction in Florida in 1998? Did you say that one more time? What was George's that left the trail of destruction in Florida in 1998? Hurricane. That is correct. We have a winning team. Oh, get back up here. Station, you need to line your team up here against the wall. Starting with Greg, then Joe, and then Miss Louie Roll, or Miss. What, what the hell's your stage name again? Ophelia Pearl. Jeffrey. Okay. Well, and Jeffrey Xerxes Bryce, who you may have seen at uh, Scorch's Little Freak Show go -Go. Okay, we're going to go from left to right. Each one of you going to smack your bitch up. Remember, if you hit the ears, you get a punishment from Cuddles. If you block, you get a punishment from Cuddles. Greg, go ahead and deliver your three smacks to your three bitches. Fuck you! Oh, whoa, whoa, wait a second. You don't have to go shoulder for this one. Oh, yeah. But, oh, For the the head to head, you're free to wind up on this oh one. Yeah. <laughs> you got two more bitches to smack up. <laughs> oh, really? He's got a shirt. Oh, he does have the play time of score, so you got to get a point. Okay, there's sprinkles. Look at he outweighs you by like a buck twenty. <laughs> smack your bitch up, Greg. Oh, Greg, have a seat. It's your turn to smack your bitches up. Oh, so you're getting a little light. Oh, okay, let's go ahead. And... You share hookah with me, so I'll give you a <laughs> But you hit my wife real hard, and that was kind of fucked up, so I gotta give you a real light. Oh, right, chill, have a seat. I'm going for a Come on, smack your bitches up. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen. For Mistress Metal and Kettles, I'm Scorch the Clown. That's Playtime with Scorch. Join us next time. Yeah. Playtime with Scorch is made possible by generous donations from... Joker of Clubs, Las Vegas' premier ultra hookah lounge for 18 and up. We have weekly scheduled events, karaoke nights, movie nights, special entertainment, and the hottest DJs that Las Vegas has to offer. Check out our webpage at jokerofclubs.com for what's coming up. Open 4 p.m. to 4 a.m. daily at 3555 South Fort Apache Road, Las Vegas, Nevada, near Spring Mountain. Specializing in facials, waxing, brow and lash tinting, makeup applications and tutorials, ultrasonic treatments for stretch marks, cellulite, 
and photo facials for a variety of skin types, Mama Riot Makeup is the official esthetician of Scorch the Clown. Tromantic Studios. We photograph events from concerts to weddings, plus portraits and creative projects. Please visit our website at www.tromantic.com for more information about the services we provide. Plan That. For all your party or event needs, visit plan-that.com. Before this gets too deep, let's take a breath of you. I told you we'd get weak. We blacked out from the field. How did we end up in this condition? Full-fledged warfare. Then we started showing. Keep this